Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Lessons from Leo. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Julianne Thorne. I'm a holistic cat therapist, cat mum, author, behaviorist, psychologist. I've got all sorts of labels. Today, I'm a cat mum and a cat communicator. And you can see here my gorgeous boy, Leo. I connect with him every week and share with you his words of wisdom. I did say a couple of weeks ago on a live, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue these. I absolutely will be. So we've had a situation with Leo the last few days where he's not particularly enamored by food. I then realized I hadn't connected with him for a while and I did. And then he cleared the plate. So I'm getting the message, buddy, that we need to regularly connect. And what I realized is him and I, we need to regularly connect energetically for that, for him to thrive. So we all think about emptying the litter trays, um, feeding them, brushing them, playing with them, you know, the, the normal kind of day-to-day -day stuff. And I'll be honest, I generally will connect with the cats energetically if there is a problem, if I am struggling, if I need answers. And what I'm receiving from Leo, not right now, but what I have in the last few days is that this energetic connection, whatever you want to call it, is just as vital to his survival and his capacity to thrive as is food. And it's interesting. So as I'm talking, I'm even making more connections like in my head, you know, food not only nourishes the body, but fuels the body. Like, you know, we can't survive unless we have food and water, obviously. And what I'm, what I'm receiving from Leo is that mum, like, receiving me energetically is just as vital for me. It's just as necessary, just as essential. So, so there already is a lesson for me that this capacity that I have to receive him and connect with him is not a tool to be used when things are wrong or bad or we're struggling it is something that needs to be day to day so thank you buddy for the lesson already before I even got the words of wisdom from you for everybody else so without further ado let's see what else he has to say let me just find his picture okay <laughs> he says I feel you mum and he feels so happy like joyful this picture when I opened up the folder that I've got of all the pictures of the boys on my computer I went straight to this one and this was a Sunday morning he, I hadn't even got his collar on him or puffed him with his asthma inhaler yet and uh, he sat there he's having a good clean and I managed to snap this picture and it was just it made me it gave me such a sense of joy and that's how he feels, like, just so happy. He's like, mum, you're here. Yes, you know, like how we would get excited about, I don't know, a piece of cake or a packet of crisps or whatever the food is that brings you joy. That's what that's what Leo feels right now. That's what he's sharing. I need to be seen. We all need to be seen. So it means all the cats. He says... You can't stop sharing our words, our time. Um, it's helping people to wake, to awaken. It's helping them to know and to see how they can receive us. Don't be scared. Don't doubt. I did. I doubted that these were even making a difference I doubted whether anybody really gets anything from them and that's all in my head that's all fear-based whereas Leo is saying like you don't need to do that mum and actually my mission is giving cats a voice but what I risk what I feel from Leo right now is yes we want to change the world 
However, that age age old adage, try saying that three times quick, you know, change the what was it? Something like you can change the world for everyone or for that or, or something something like, you know, you can you can't you can change the whole world or you can change the world for that one person or something like that. I can't remember the bloody words, but basically what Leo's saying is like I want to change the world. I want to have a huge global impact. I want to give cats a voice. I want to wake people up to the fact that cats are sentient, sensitive beings, that they are a soul in a cat body, like I'm a soul in a human body. They deserve just as much respect, understanding, acknowledgement. So my mission is huge. And Leo now is like, but mum, you know, if you receive me and you feel me and you connect with me, that changes the whole of my world. I see, buddy. I get you. What else do you have to share with everybody? Oh, he says you. But you know, I don't like, I don't like actually being in the spotlight. You need to tell them, um, tell them how you struggle. Tell them how at times you can feel dense. Tell them that you're human. Okay. You see me. You feel me. Tell them. Look past the body and the behavior. Feel the essence. Find the soul. Then we can grow together. Hmm. Buddy. So wise. Tell them, mum. Okay, so when he says tell them, I get this sense that Leah wants me to kind of be honest about our relationship. So I didn't always know that I could connect with cats this way. I didn't always know that I could feel the soul essence of my cat. And there are times when I still question and doubt myself, you know. I have a psychology degree. I can be very logical. You know, I understand behavior. I need facts and proof and evidence. And yet the the duality in me is the flip side of that, which is I firmly believe that everything happens for a reason. I really understand that, that divine timing makes things work for us, that everything that happens to us is happening for us. You know, I... I, I have this real sense of spirituality and faith and trust in something bigger than me. Yet, I do have days when I can go into a spiral of anxiety. I do have moments where I overthink God, more than I even thought was possible. I have days where I get nervous about working with clients and doing this like before I came online today I connected with a friend's cat um they're having a few problems and when I sat down you know I was thinking god can I do this you know am I in the right space do I have capacity to so I share this with you because I'm human just like you guys and I worked for the government in a as a benefits manager which was literally about figures and facts and planning and organizing. And yet I sit here with you today, <laughs> connecting from this my soul space with my cat and speaking his words to you. Something that I never thought I would do, something that I always thought people like P. Horsley and, and others could do, but I couldn't. So if I can do it, trust me, you guys can too. And I think Leo wants me to share with you that it's okay to struggle. It's okay to have doubts and fears and worries and to have those times when you go down that spiral of overthinking. But you always get to choose. You always get to choose. You get to choose what frequency you give out. You get to choose how you feel. Now, that may not make sense to everybody, but you do. And I know from Leo he he wants us all to embrace the way we are to accept where we are 
And if you want to be somewhere else, if you want to feel differently, if you want to do something else with your life, if you want to be more spiritual, take a step. You don't have to do the whole big thing. You don't have to know that all of the steps or the end goal or the path. You just need to know what you want. Leo said to me at the beginning, you know, I want you, mum, to connect with me regularly. I need you to receive me daily, frequently. So, so what do you want? I put this to you who's watching this. What do you want? And then think about how you can take one little step towards that. I want my boy to be happy and I want to feel confident in my connection with him. So although at times I'm petrified, nervous, scared, afraid, worried about connecting with him, I'm going to take a step to do it more often. So I'd love to know what it is that you want and what step you're going to take. So drop it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel on, on YouTube so that you get notified when we drop a new video. And I really hope that you've enjoyed Leo's words today. It's, as always, <laughs> it's a lesson for me. And I am so grateful that I have the capacity to connect with him, to receive him, to feel him, and to share it with you. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you'd like to be able to connect with your cat to do this, to face your fears, release your pain and guilt, um, deepen your connection with your cat, come and join me for the Naturally Cat Signature Programme. Become a soul-led cat guardian. I'll drop a link in the comments below. You can book a call with me and we'll have a chat. We'll see if, see if you're ready and see if I'm someone that can help you. And I'll tell you about the programme and see if it is the right way for you to take that next step. Have a lovely day, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you again to my gorgeous boy, Leo, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.